Hello children, hope you all are safe and sound. So in this video, we will be learning and discussing about the third chapter that is Rotation and Revolution. I have categorized in two parts. In the first part, we will be discussing and learning about Rotation and the second part we will be discussing about revolution. So these are the points to discuss. In rotation, we will be learning the meaning of rotation, introduction, movements of the earth, rotation of the earth and alteration of or change of day and night, speed and its effects and finally correlate force. Meaning of the rotation The earth rotates on its own axis from west to east once in 24 hours. This movement causes day and night. Coming to the introduction of the chapter As all the celestial bodies like sun, moon, stars are moving, so it is fact that we are also moving but we are stationary. We don't realize we don't feel that we are moving. Why? We do not feel the rotation because we are also moving along with the earth at the same speed. In fact, all the heavenly bodies are constantly in motion, but all heavenly bodies are held together in space because of the gravitational force of one with respect to other. The Earth's gravitational force holds the moon and artificial satellites in their rotational paths or orbits. So the next point to discuss is the movements of the Earth. There are two movements of the Earth, rotation and revolution. Rotation, the Earth rotates on its own axis from west to east once in 24 hours. This movement causes day and night. Revolution The earth revolves around the sun, making one complete revolution in approximately 365 days and 6 hours. Here we can differentiate between this rotation and revolution. In rotation you can see the earth is rotating on its own axis and it takes 24 hours it causes day and night but in terms of revolution it revolves around the sun and it takes 365 days and 6 hours and it causes seasonal change. Since earth is the only planet with life on it the movement of earth affects the types of plants and animals inhabiting on it. Why it affects the plants and animals? It is because of the varying amount of sun's heat reaching the various parts of the earth. And why the varying amount of sun's heat reaching on the various parts of the earth? There are two reasons. It is due to the earth spherical shape and inclination of the axis. So the amount of insulation or heat in simple term varies from place to place. And the temperature is the basis of climate, vegetation and atmospheric changes. It greatly affects the variety of life on earth. Next point to discuss is rotation of the earth and alteration of day and night. The length of day and night is directly related to the earth's rotation on its own axis once in 24 hours. While rotating a part of earth facing the sun has day and other part night. Circle of illumination is the imaginary line which shows 
clear demarcation between the day and night on the earth the period of rotation or the time required for the earth to turn through 360 degree is 23 hours 56 minutes 4.09 seconds this period is termed as sidereal day so when you are asked a question what is sidereal day your answer will be the earth rotation the period of rotation takes to turn through 360 degree is 23 hours 56 minutes 4.09 seconds you could notice that not exactly 24 hours but 4 minutes shorter than this so that is mainly determined by the stars you can see over here what is circle of illumination one side of the earth which receive the sun's rays is termed as day and other side of the earth will be night the circle which is dividing day and night is known as circle of illumination next point to discuss is effects of speed of rotation when the earth rotates and because of it its speed what are the effects takes place there are three effects that mainly and basically takes place the first effect is that all the moving bodies on the earth surface that is ocean currents and winds are deflected towards the right in the northern hemisphere and left in the southern hemisphere is due to the coralize force created because of the rotation of the earth this is called ferrell's law and the second effect is that is due to speed of rotation is that cyclones and anti cyclones are also deflected in both the hemisphere causing atmospheric changes and a third effect due to the speed of rotation is that it affects the pressure belts and movement of the air on the earth surface the bulging of the earth at the equator and flattening at the poles takes place due to the different speed of rotation now let's see about effects of rotation previously we discussed the effects of speed of rotation now there is effects of rotation so the first effect is rotation causes day and night the second effect is that the variation in temperature is also due to rotation the same amount of temperature we do not receive on the earth surface equal amount of temperature we don't receive on the earth surface it varies is because as part of the earth receiving the sun's rays accumulates the heat during the day it raises the day temperature while at night a part of this is given off and the temperature cools down finally the last point to discuss is the coriolis effect the coriolis effect was first described in 1835 by a french scientist by the name gustave coriolis as per this theory all the moving bodies like oceans currents and winds are deflected towards the right in the northern hemisphere and towards the left in the southern hemisphere so this deflection takes place because of the coriolis force which is called coriolis effect or ferrell's law it occurs due to the centrifugal force centrifugal force means from the center the force throws away right the centrifugal force and centripetal force the centrifugal force is a force directed away from the axis rotation and appears to act on all rotating objects about an axis like spinning top and causes a bulge at the equator the centripetal force balances the force that is responsible for the rotation you could see the earth is rotating west to east but when we see the center of axis in the north pole the rotation is anti clockwise and the center of the south pole is clockwise due to this difference the 
coralized folds in the northern hemisphere will be moving towards the left right side and towards the left in the southern hemisphere right thank you so much